So I want to share with everyone a little lesson I'm learning about construction. Um, it's insane. So I come to the property yesterday and I noticed that they had just put up this structure where our garage is going to go and the deck. And if you can see this area here, this is always intended for a car to go in there. Um, and that was our primary entrance. So as you might have already guessed by looking at it, there is no way just on an eyeball that a car could fit into those that space. So I immediately call up, like, look how small this is. I'm videoing this, so no normal car can fit here. And yet all they would have had to do is extend it out to here. So I call my 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 contractor up. I said, what do the plans show? And he said, the plans show exactly where we put it. You know, we put it exactly where the, the architect drew it. So I called my architect up and I said, uh, we have a problem. You know, and he said, oh, you know, yeah, no, I, I remember specifically that we had discussions and notes that, that it was going to be four parking spaces. And I said, there's no way that we, we, we have ever said that. And he said, well, you better find your notes because it's not accurate. And he calls me back up and he says, listen, you know, I know that we wanted originally six parking spaces and we'd hoped to do five. But, you know, here's the fact of the matter is I drew it. You didn't say anything when I drew it. You're screwed, <laughs> uh, basically. Uh, basically telling me it was my responsibility to get a ruler out and do the math and, and, and know how far apart cars should be and, you know, and, and, and do the fix. I just utterly shocked that that was his response and that that was a typical response for an architect. Their position is, is that if it's in the drawings, even if it's not drawn to accommodate what you specifically said, it's not their fault because you accepted in effect the drawings as they were drafted and it was up to me and my responsibility as a, a businessman to to understand how far apart they are and i basically had to hire in effect another lawyer which by the way i had on staff an owner's rep which i had expected to you know do what an owner would do and that is and one of them was an architect and review the drawings and make sure that they're right and they said ultimately that this is just the risk owners take when they build projects and that architects have no responsibility or liability whatsoever for this sort of thing. If it's in the drawings and I accept the drawings, even though it's just flat out wrong, you know, it's just, it's just you're fucked. I, you know, the architectural fees were well over six figures for for this project and and this fix is maybe five or ten thousand dollars and just doesn't seem like it should be my responsibility to do that so i did find an email from uh from me with the architects and everyone in you know specifying clearly how many parking spaces and i told him you better notify your errors and emission policy i i intend to make a claim so kind of frustrated but uh, first world problems, I know, uh, poor me. Um, you know, I work really hard for a living and um, looking forward to enjoying this space. I mean, Laura gets to work at 1 a.m. every day and this will make life easier for her. Bye-bye.